if you've got staff accounts set up and terms configured, you can begin entering individual classes. In GradeLink, the word classes refers to anything that would be considered an individual subject, giving teachers a gradebook for entering assignments or assessments and displaying on the report card as a distinct section. Let's start with a typical first grade class. In the class title field, enter a descriptive, useful title that includes the subject and grade level, such as Reading 1. In the Report Title field, enter how you would like the class to be displayed on the report card and parent interface. Generally, the grade level should be left off. Click the Teacher field, then select the teacher to the right. If there is a team teacher or teacher's aide you would like to grant access to this gradebook, you can use the Accessible To menu to select additional teachers. If your school uses periods to divide the day, you can designate this with the period menu. Otherwise, just ignore this. Gradelink will alphabetize classes on the report card by default. However, if you prefer certain classes to be in a specific order, you can use the Report Order menu to specify this. The term is already set to our currently active term. More on that in a little bit. Units is simply another word for credits. If you have certain credits to be assigned to different classes, you can set them here. Since we're not concerned with GPA or credits for this first grade reading class, we'll simply ignore this field. The location field is optional, and you can specify a room number or other location, and this will appear on the student schedule report, which can be printed. This teacher would like to enter assignment grades like homework, quizzes, and projects into this class in order to generate a class average, which will be the student's final grade on their report card. Therefore, we will leave the class type as standard. The grade scale is set by default to standard which is the A through F scale. However, if your school uses other marks for the lower grades, such as OGS and N, these can be configured using the Manage Grade Scales area. Configuring grade scales is not covered in this video. However, once you have other scales available, they can be selected using this menu. For this first grade reading class, we'll choose the primary grade scale, which has already been configured. If your report cards show not only overall grades, but assessments related to a subject, these can be set up in GradeLink using subgrades. Configuring subgrades is not covered in this video. However, once you have subgrade sets available, they can be selected using this menu. Now that we have this class configured the way we want, we can click Add. And our first class has been created. At this point, you can continue entering additional classes. However, if you have a second grade reading class with mostly the same settings, you can select this Reading 1 class from the list, then click this Duplicate button up at the top, and you'll see GradeLink will create a Reading 2 class based on the same settings. So I can simply click on Reading 2 and change the teacher name to the second grade teacher, and then click Submit Changes so this makes it easy to create your classes quickly. Now, from fourth grade on up, this school grades with the standard, or A through F, grade scale. So for my Reading 4 class, I'm going to change the grade scale to standard, and then Submit Changes. And I can duplicate from here on up through the rest of the grade levels.